Tonight in the future of everything, the future of tech in the U.S. is going beyond hotspots like San Francisco and the Silicon Valley. The White House announced today it is designating 31 tech hubs across more than half the states and Puerto Rico, putting them in the running to compete for up to $75 million in grants. The White House says it's all part of an effort to develop tech companies in more areas across the country instead of being isolated to just a couple of major cities like this one. This includes industries in semiconductors, clean energy, medicine, biotech, and, of course, artificial intelligence. NBC News White House correspondent Ali Rafa has more on today's announcement. Yeah, Jake, President Biden appeared at the White House this afternoon with Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo to announce what he called these new regional technology hubs. And they're all in an effort to boost American competitiveness in the technology sector. He said that these hubs will be established in 32 states plus Puerto Rico, and they'll focus on a wide range of technological areas like in artificial intelligence, semiconductors, clean energy, medicine, biology biotechnology, just to name a few. And the president says that this is all being done in an effort to essentially spread the wealth, to not have these technological investments concentrated to the cities that we're familiar with, to, for example, San Francisco, Seattle, Austin, New York, Boston, to spread the wealth and have other communities in the United States be able to have some of those investments. Take a listen to a bit more of what he had to say today. For too long, we looked around the world to find, corporations looked around the world to find the cheapest employment and then imported the product they made, the foreign product. Now we're creating American jobs and exporting American products. The White House says that this whole project will cost $500 million, and that money is coming from the Chips and Science Act that the president signed into law last year. And then the Commerce Department will then issue grants to the states that will be participating in this program. The president, during this event earlier, calling this work, quote, transformational, saying it's essential for American competitiveness in the technological field. Ali Rafa on the jobs and prospects of the future tonight. Ali, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.